Today we're going to do section 4.5, linearization in Newton's method. Let's look at example one. Consider the function y equals f of x. Find the equation of the tangent line to f at x equals a. So to find the equation of the tangent line, you need to have a point and the slope. So the point that we have is a f of a, and my slope would be the derivative at a. So now that I have my point and I have my slope, I can use point slope form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So I would have y minus f of a equals f prime of a times x minus a. And this is known as the linearization of x. So this is a formula, L of x equals y, which equals f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. And this is something that you're going to want to know. Let's look at linearization. If f is differentiable at x equals a, then the equation of the tangent line l of x equals f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a defines the linearization of f at a. The approximation f of x equals l of x is the standard linear approximation of f at a. The point x equals a is the center of the approximation. Let's look at example two. Find the linearization of f of x equals cosine x at x equals pi over two and use it to approximate 1.75 without a calculator. So the first thing we need to do is find our point. So f of pi over two, which equals cosine of pi over two, which is zero. Then I need to find f prime of x, which is the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. And then I have to find f prime at my point, which is pi over 2. So negative sine of pi over 2, which equals negative 1. My linearization, L of x, would be my point f of a, which is 0, plus f prime of a, which is negative 1, times x minus pi over 2. I can simplify this by adding like terms to get negative x plus pi over 2. Now if I want to find my linearization of um, 1.75, that would just be negative 1.75 plus pi over 2. We can approximate pi over 2 because we know that pi is about 3.14. So that would be 3.14 divided by 2, which is about 1.57. Adding those together, I get negative 0.18. So cosine of 1.75 is about 0.18. So cosine of negative uh, cosine of 1.75 is about negative 0.18. Let's look at example three. Use linearization to approximate the square root of 123 and the cube root of 123. What I would suggest is follow along when I do the square root of 123, and then you should try to do the cube root of 123 on your own by pausing the video. So first, um, we need to determine what f of x is. So I'm going to have f of x be the square root of x. And I need to have some value that's close to 123. When I take the square root of it, I get a good answer like a nice pretty number. So I'm going to say that my a will be 121 because the square root of 121 is 11. So then I find f of 121 to be 11. So now I need to find f prime of x. 
f prime of x is 1 over 2 squared of x, because this would be x to the 1 half. It's 1 half x to the negative 1 half. And now I need to find f prime of 121. So this would be 1 all over 2 times the square root of 121, which equals 1 over 22, because the square root of 121 is 11. Now my linearization of this would be f of a, which is 11, plus f prime of a, which is 1 over 22, times x minus a, which is 121. I want to approximate 123, so my x here is going to be 123, and I would plug that in. So 123 minus 121 is 2, so this becomes 11 plus 2 over 22, which equals 11 plus 1 over 11. So this would be 11 and 1 11th is about the square root of 123. So what I would do, using this example as a guide, pause now and try to do the cube root of 123 on your own before following along. Now let's approximate the cube root of 123. So f of x is going to be the cube root of x. My a value is going to be 125 because I need a perfect cube close to 123. So f of 125 would be the cube root of 125 which equals 5. Now I need to find f prime of x, which would be 1 over 3 cube root of x squared, or 1 third x to the negative 2 thirds. I have to find f prime of 125, which is 1 over 3 times the cube root of 125 squared, which ends up being 1 over 75. My linearization, L of x, is f of a, which is 5, plus f prime of a, which is 1 over 75, times x minus a, which is 125. To find my linearization of 123, I go ahead and plug that in for x. One twenty three minus one twenty five is negative two. So I'd have five plus one over seventy five times negative two. And this would be five minus two over seventy five. So four and seventy three seven seventy fifths is about the cube root of 123. Let's go ahead and look at a quick quiz for section 4.5. The approximate value of y equals the square root of 4 plus sine x at x equals 0.12 obtained from the tangent to the graph at x equals 0 is which of the following? So you need to find the linearization at x equals 0.12 using x equals 0 as your value. So try this on your own. Pause the video before finding out the answer. The correct answer would be B, 2.03. To do this, You would first have to find y of 0, which equals the square root of 4 plus sine of 0, which is 2. Then I need to find y prime of x, which is 1 half times 4 plus sine x to the negative 1 half times cosine x, using the chain rule. Then I need to find y prime of 0, which would be 1 half times 
one half because sine of zero is zero. Um, four to the negative one half is just one half. And then cosine of zero is one. And that would give me one fourth. So my linearization would be f of a, which is two, plus my derivative at a, which is one fourth, then x minus zero. This would just equal two plus one fourth x. To find my linearization at 0 0.12, it would just be two plus one fourth times 0 0.12, which is about 2.03.